Steph, the connection will be some storms moving through there. It is all coming. So what language did you guys take in school? French. French, what'd you take? You go, both took French, oui. Spanish. Anyone take uh, Greek in this in the room here? No. I know that Philadelphia, which is what we're looking at right now, could see some afternoon thunderstorms, a high of 89. Philadelphia, I knew the translation was from Greek, meaning city of brotherly love. That's where it comes from. So I looked up the Greek. It is philio, means to love. And I know everyone at home is screaming at me that knows how to speak uh, Greek. And Adelph means brother. Wow. So Philadelphia, the city of brotherly love, that's where it comes from, but nice. sorry who know what that is. All right, here we go. Let's make it rain into the Northeast and that front that Cantori was talking about. My whole thing is like, oh, you stretch out in the morning like this. Cantori spoke about this part of the front. I'm going to talk about this part of the front that's going to move through the Northeast. And there it is. So it is stretched out. So here into the Northeast, all the way back down into the plains. My Spanx might be showing, but that's all right. Better have them than not have them. So as we head into the Northeast, New York, 80 degrees for you. By the way, West Side Story, a great Broadway show. Originally, it was called East Side Story, the original draft. Lots of moisture as well. So hot and humid, not only in the South, but also in the Northeast. And so I'm pretty familiar with all of them. You mentioned Serena, you know, Althea Gibson uh, won Wimbledon 1957, the first African-American woman to do that. So let's have a look for all you tennis players here into the South. It's going to be hot out on those courts. It just like blasts off of the course. Maybe you're lucky enough to play on clay or grass. It's a little bit better though. Grass, it just absorbs all the energy from the ball. It's really hard to play on grass. Let's have a look at what's happening here into the southeast maybe you're getting dressed right now and you're putting on those jeans man when it's this hot out it is tough to wear jeans and you know in north korea you're actually not allowed to wear denim because it symbolizes the enemy which is us the united states so be thankful that you can wear the jeans maybe a few uh, showers and thunderstorms into the afternoon hours and speaking of jeans and thunderstorms not a good combo when like the bottom of your jeans, maybe you're wearing the boot cut get wet. That's just not a good feeling, is it? So maybe shorts and tank tops with all the humidity here, but with the sun actually, you know how you see people who work outside wearing long sleeves, they wear white for obvious reasons, right? To reflect the light. But when the sun actually hits your skin directly, you're hotter. That's why people wear clothing because then it hits the clothing and you're in theory, not as hot. But with this humidity, it seems like no matter what you wear, you're gonna be schwitzing through the day. And here's a look as we head through the afternoon hours. Again, this is what it says on the thermometer, but Sam, I don't really care about those numbers because all I care about is what it feels like. What and it feels. it's easily going to be 10 degrees hotter than that everywhere. All right. So that point, you do care <laughs> when it's that warm. <laughs>